speaking of drama, we can just kind of acknowledge this really quick. I, I honestly have lost the plot at this point. I don't even know what the plot is um, or, or where it's going, but um, I have a more interesting point, I think, about all this. So um, anybody on Twitter may have witnessed this week some of the Buck Fiat versus B Root stuff. I guess that's where the initial thing is stemming from. And then there was a tweet by that one account the other day uh, that we were discussing privately, Ewok. Um, that was showing some telegram group that had like a bunch of hexagons in it that may or may not be doing this. I don't really know what the person was trying to, to claim was going on. Um, but I think the, the buck from Fiat and B roots thing has been, I, I haven't seen a lot of it. So I, I think that it was mostly good natured at first. Um, I know they kind of had like a debate about where Paul's chain could go over the next few years. That was a couple of months back or so. Um, I, I, I'll be honest, I have no idea what's actually going on with this anymore. And I, I don't really care that much, but maybe somebody in the chat can fill us in. But to me, the good takeaway of this, because it's not just those two, is like with how much people are kind of going at each other's throats and talking about this Telegram thing. I mean, it is signs of a fervent community either way. Like there are people just going after each other hardcore in this ecosystem. Um, and maybe why you don't like to see that, you know, and we hope we're all on the same page. It's nice that people are this excited about different products and how they should be handled and whether this one's a scam or that one's a scam and blah, blah, blah. Um, I, I'm just interested in the fact that people are this passionate in this community. I would rather see it be actual, I guess, passion in terms of, you know, just DeFi as a whole. But if people are, you know, I guess this just speaks to where we are at the end of the bear market here where, you yeah. know, it seems like this has been a year we've been saying this, but sure. people are just down this low where, um, you know, and I'm seeing thoughts about like never do screenshots. If there's something private, it's meant to be private. Don't do screenshots. But the Telegram group was open. I don't know. I don't even understand the Telegram group. I don't know where this thing is at this point. Um, maybe you can fill us in or, or know where it is a little bit more. But what do you make of what's been going on here? Yeah, just a bunch of unnecessary drama um, between B Roots and, and Buck. Um, uh, I don't know. Maybe Brizology can chime in here. I, he's usually into a lot of the the behind this not behind the scenes or whatever but he follows it pretty closely a lot closer than i do um yeah i mean it just got to be a i think that's what happened at first they saw this group of people um most of them were more og hexagon folks um I saw some names in there it was funny though the one name that they didn't show was richard hart and Richard was also in that group at one point. I think eventually um, he had a screenshot of it. Yeah, but yeah. you're right. I, I saw that one. So that wasn't one of the first ones, which was kind of a little misleading there. Um, and said that these folks were kind of almost, I don't want to say a pump and dump, but they were getting the inside scoop on what was going on. Well, you know, if they're friends, friends talk. Like, so yeah. it, it's going to happen. It's going to happen no matter what, whether you want to see it or not, or whether you believe it's not going on. I'm sure it is everywhere in every ecosystem. There are the people in the know. Um, and apparently somebody got their feelings hurt because they weren't probably in the know um, and felt like maybe they were being taken advantage of, or people were trying to run some sort of pump and dump or whatever, whatever it was. Anyway, just again, unnecessary drama uh, between the two. Uh, the last thing that I kind of came across this afternoon was them agreeing to keep each other's names out of each other's mouth. Um, and, you know, Buck did say at one point, hey, man, you got to say that a lot of this shit wasn't true, that, you know, none of that, um, I, I guess it was uh, colluding was going on in, in the back rooms there um, that, you know, you made quite a mess for me now to clean up if you could at least say that you know that was all speculation and there's no proof of any of that stuff going on i would appreciate it so that's where i right. saw it being left off today again hopefully it you know goes away just like any of the other little you know fights that the little girls are having and um you know the one thing that i i will agree with um that b roots did say was you know buck's project could end up hurting some people you know if you don't know what you're doing please don't leverage trade 
um, it is a dangerous kind of thing, you know, and you can easily get your bags liquidated if, if you're not really sure what's going on. So um, that's all I wanted to say about that. You know, if, if you know what you're doing and you can use the tool to um, to hedge a bet, uh, you got a big bag and you want to maybe play a short just in case the market goes down to offset it. Um, as long as you know what you're doing and, you know, you're not using all your bag, then more power to you. But, you know, they are dangerous products for a reason. And, you know, somebody is going to end up making money. As far as I know, though, these are contracts are, are kind of locked and it's the the users of the ecosystem that actually make out. So it's not Buck. Buck's not, I mean, you know, he probably owns quite a bit of the token that gets paid whenever somebody gets liquidated. Right. Um, but... You know, anybody can buy into that pool. So, you know, if you want to kind of bet against it and you don't like it, well, then maybe make money off the people that are losing. So there, there's always a good play and a good way to stay safe, um, but still make out uh, with some of these products. You know, Liquid Loans is going to be the same way. I saw a, a really cool um, show last night with, with Maddie and um, they had Walrus on oh, yeah. talking a lot about too. Liquid Loans. Um, and there was some people in the chat that were just upset that, you know, Walrus is going to take all your money. And well, first of all, it's a locked code. It's locked code. The only people that can profit from any of this stuff are the people that that uh, put their money into the pool that backs the whole product. You know, again, locked, Im immutable stuff um, that just operates based on code. Um, not any one person that's going to be able to rug pull. So. You know, again, if you're not interested or don't want to take a loan out, well, then put some money into the pool uh, where the people that do get liquidated because they don't know what they're doing, um, that's where you're going to profit. So or, or just stake it. There's plenty of things to do uh, when it comes to, to these type of things um, rather than saying, well, it's new. I should probably try it out. <laughs> yeah, that's not a good idea, especially if you don't know what you're doing. You know, you've got to do your research. You've got to know what's going on. Um, and, and know how easily one candle can can really wreck you and you know you end up in a really bad spot so yeah just some words of wisdom words of advice for people um you know the, the drama does bring out some of these points um it's a long way to get there sometimes <laughs> but it, it does it does flush out some good advice for people and uh you know unfortunately like i said sometimes you got to take a, a long walk around to, to get to the point to realize what's actually happening yeah, I think the main other thing to take away from this now, too, is that this month we've talked about it is going to be great for Paul's chain. I mean, we have all these different things launching, you know, say what you will about Buck. I mean, like the products actually being out there and working pretty much before almost anybody else is a, a good thing. Yeah. And then we're also, yeah, as you mentioned, with Walrus, I did watch that stream with Matty Allen last night. It was about like two, two and a half hours, yeah. but I thought it was fantastic. It was good to hear all of their thoughts on everything going on in crypto um, for sure. But yeah, liquid loans coming out soon. The fetch Oracle more important as importantly. I mean, I think all this stuff is really bullish and walrus. I, I always like his points. He's very good at kind of zooming out on not just the chart, but just kind of like where we're at mentally with everything and yeah. say, look, like <clears throat> this has happened. That has happened, you know, in terms of bad things that, have happened with the sec which we're going to get to here a little bit in a minute um but hey all these things are still being built all of those validators are still there like look at the behavior it's not necessarily what the price is today you know um so yeah i think those are all great points and as far as the yeah. drama whatever i mean I, I i really haven't been paying attention to it and um you know it, again my main point like the fact that there are people this feverish within this ecosystem i think is good because you mm -hmm. know you, you don't have things like this happening in cardonzo's world you mm -hmm. don't have things like this happening in solana's world a lot of the other l1s and stuff like yeah. that so agree yeah yeah so. and, and like i said you know it's to, to try and stay away from the drama too because it it does bring you down man reading and seeing people fighting back and forth and bickering it gets you in a bad headspace you know where you're trying to keep positive you're trying to to do the right things for the, you know, the mentality of staying in a, you know, a, a positive mindset because it is tough. It is hard to go through these markets like this. And, and when you're trying to keep yourself positive, sometimes reading that stuff can bring it right back down. It kind of, you know, you have to reset a little bit. So stay, stay away from it.